Hi, I'm Random Trashy, welcome to the channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a direct comparison between the Warrior Assault Systems Recon Plate Carrier and the Warrior Assault Systems DCS Plate Carrier. So just to kick things off, if you haven't heard of Warrior Assault Systems, they make absolutely solid kit. Um, this is NTOA certified, so it's been certified by the NTOA Foundation in the States, which means it's fully spec'd up for military use, um, and it's also been taken on by the LAPD, which is, I know, a massive thing for Warrior. So if any of you guys are watching, congratulations. I know it's a really big deal, um, and I know that they're very, very meticulous about the kit that they choose, and they only choose the very, very best. So it just goes to a good testament as to how good the Warrior Assault Systems kit is. Um, and this has been around for quite a long time. This is a newer vest out of the two, the Warrior uh, Recon vest, and there's some big differences between the two. I have done individual videos on them, but I think this would be a much clearer a video for understanding what each vest offers and the differences are between the two of them. So if you are interested in Warrior Assault Systems kit, you are in the UK or Europe, you can head over to UKTactical.com to pick up all of the Warrior kit. And if you are in the States or you're over in Canada, um, feel free to drop over to ChaseTactical.com and they supply all of the Warrior equipment. Two very quick things. One is I'm going to give you my experience with, with the vests. As you can tell, they're very modular um, with tons of mole all over the front, back and sides. The experience you're going to get from having different accessories on there may be different to my own. Um, and if you are after accessories for these, Warrior do absolutely everything. Um, every type of ammo pouch you can think of, uh, medic pouches, hydration, um, tools and accessories, utilities and everything. They do a ton of stuff. So you can completely outfit these to your own customization exactly how you would want them set up. Um, that may give you a different experience from what I've had from them. Um, I've had the DCS for about two years now and I've had the recon for about six months. In that six months this has had an absolute ton of use. Um, I really have punished this as much as possible. Um, the DCS as you can tell is uh, still in very good condition after all of that use and that's down to the 500 Decadora that's used for both of these and they're both in uh, official cry precision multi-cam material as well but the 500 Decadora is very very rugged material. It keeps them very lightweight um, and at the same time repels a lot of water, has a very low IR signature and that sort of thing. So the DCS first, um, one of the big things that's very different about the two, they'll both take large and medium full size uh, sappy ballistic plates, that's hard and soft armour you can put in these. Um, the DCS will actually take a full side plate which will offer protection sort of from the lower um, armpit down to the top of the waistline, um, whereas the recon won't just because it has this kind of meshing on the side. Um, so the DCS first, front and rear full plates as I've already mentioned. Um, eight loops on mine dependent on how you set the um, full circumference of this you know lots and lots of adjustment on the dcs as well so i'm just going to open this back panel up like so um, and then you can just un velcro these and then set it to your desired width now i am quite on the small side of this so the full circumference of this at the moment is about 30 odd inches uh, which is very small but it will expand out to absolutely huge size so if you did want to wear this over an arctic jacket or a big framed guy um, there's definitely going to fit you um, there's tons and tons of adjustment on there uh, getting in and out of the rig just very quickly all you have to do is rip the front up and just kind of open this up like so um, and then you've got two Velcro panels there with handles on, rip that open, get into the vest, um, slam that closed and then just throw the front, front down um, and it means that you can get in and out of this vest very quickly. It isn't as quick as the recon um, and obviously that front plate on the front, if you've got a lot of equipment in there, obviously you've got to be able to have mag pouches on there that allow the um, front section to completely invert so you don't want to have little accessories on the way you're going to lift it up and everything's going to fall out of it so um yeah lifting that up getting into it the noise signature from it is obviously a lot louder than the recon um just because you've got the little clips on the side so if you are trying to get it on and off quietly um then that is going to be something that you're going to take into consideration one thing I will say about this is because of all the mole space on the side and the back I've had this vest quite a few times very very loaded up so I've had you know eight mags on it I think I had a load of pyro in one I had two medic pouches on this side and um, one of the speed loader and a load of other bits and bobs in and then I had all of my 
uh, food, power bars, uh, protein bars, all that sort of stuff in another pouch and then I had my pistol on the other side and on the back I had a hydration sack, three more mags and a full medic pouch with uh, an actual full medic kit in it just in case anyone got injured um, and the vest was an absolute, weighed an absolute ton um, but was very very comfortable to wear, there was no rubbing, there was no uncomfortableness as well, I had a single point sling with my gun hung off that as well and that's a full weight AR so yeah uh, very very comfortable uh, to wear at long periods of time and and also you know because of the front and back padding that you have that sits behind the sappy plates it means it's very comfortable on the chest and back as well if you're going to lean up against something you're going to be in and out of vehicles that sort of thing uh, it's a very very comfortable vest to wear uh, in comparison you know like that seems a little bit more bulky than the recon the recon is very 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 snug it's very slim fitting if you are getting in and out of vehicles uh, if you're going in and out of buildings that sort of thing you do notice that there's that uh, less width around the sides obviously you haven't got those large bulky uh, plates in there so just looking at the side of this vest as you can see that's one of the main differences are you've got them three straps across there I have got a radio pouch on the side of here that takes up two mole spaces and you've got another two before you get to the strap so you've only got four mole spaces on the sides um, which is probably more than enough for every single uh, you, you know user out there it's only if you really are going to load that vest up um, getting in and out of the vest just quickly ping these two straps like that and you're ready to get in as you can see very very low noise signature and very very quick to get on and off um, just doing them back up if you uh, have had any kind of doubts about those plastic buckles I did at the very beginning they take 600 pounds of strain each buckle and they have been very very good in the use that I've had them so far plus even with gloves on they're very easy to pinch on and off and get the vest on and off quickly which is great um, moving around to the front is where the big differences are uh, between the DCS and the recon obviously the recon has got the detachable front which works with tons of other systems from warrior assault systems so if you wanted to interchange this between the Falcon chess rig or the Pathfinder uh, chess rig as I have myself, um, it's very easy to do. You literally just clip these two buckles off like that and then pull that front panel off. As you can see, it's just got Velcro on the back and you can interchange that with different setups. So if you've got a 556 setup and say you've got 308 set up for a, um, for a sniper rifle, then you could do that and swap them over very, very quickly. Again, you just ping them on like that, you know, just stick them on. Uh, with the velcro and then push the buckles in make sure they're nice and clipped in like so give that a slap and you are ready to go so it's very very quick to change loadouts over um, also if you don't want to come buy tons and tons of mag pouches it means that you could swap that between four or five different setups without having to have you know loads of different mags pouches and worry about mulling things on and off of the rig which is really really good um, very modular as I say uh, another big difference is obviously the shoulder straps so the DCS has got the fast detached buckle which means that you can completely open the vest up, get in and out of it very, very quickly. Uh, I think that's one of the things that the military guys must love um, if there is ever an injury. I've got the pads on the side of here. Uh, you can open these right up. I'm just gonna rip this one off um, and pull it off. It has got the padding on the bottom of the pad, so it does mean that the shoulder straps could be less padded, but as you can see, they're very, very low profile, so if you did want to wear this underneath a hoodie or a jumper or a jacket or something along those lines, um, then you are able to do that without you know, having these big, large shoulder straps in the way. Uh, lots of adjustment on the shoulders as well you can have it right up underneath your chin if you want to or you can drop the vest really low down um, and have it you know on the lower chest uh, down towards the abdominal area um, over the shoulder straps that you have on the recon you don't have the fast release buckle but you do have a lot of adjustment on the straps so I'm just going to hold this up there is uh, three ways of having these straps so I'll just take this first cover off has got a little bit of padding on it, but it's also got the hydration loops or communication loops on the side. So if you're not gonna use them, then you can take them off. That leaves you with two more setups. Just excuse my single point in the way. Um, you can take the next set of pads off, which has got the, uh, you know, like the padding underneath. So if you did wanna lower that signature right down, and then you are down to a very similar setup to the DCS, very, very low profile. Again, uh, if you did wanna wear this under clothing or anything like that, just go throw these straps back on. They just have Velcro underneath, um, and then you can just stick them back underneath. Do the Velcro up again. You know, if you do want to make changes to this vest, you know, everyone's going to wear it different and have different setups on it and stuff. It's very, very easy to do and can be done very quickly, as you can see here. Um, just getting it back to how it was before. You've got all of the protection on there. So you've got some nice thick padding and some pads to sit underneath it. Um, 
Both vests, absolutely solid. Um, I've worn them both in really torrential rain, rain and I've worn them in absolute heat as well. And they've both been very good for repelling water um, and you know, keeping that IR signature right down, as I've mentioned before, with the 500D Cadora material. Um, it does have a very, very low IR signature, so it does stop that metallic-y sort of look through. NV, um, spinning them both round, I guess, having a look at the back panels, they are very, very similar. The DCS seems a little bit taller, I think that's because of the height that you have on this bottom panel here, so it sits a little bit taller than the Recon. Um, both have got very solid handles on them, so if you need to drag someone, pulling someone in and out of a vehicle, pulling someone into cover, if someone's injured or anything like that, you need to pull them to prop them up. Both have these very sturdy handles on the back that Velcro down and out of the way. Um, both phenomenal rigs. I mean, to be completely honest, I love both of them. I couldn't tell you which one to you, you know, to go out and and wear. I think if it really comes down to me, I was being very critical. The DCS would be the one that if I was out on the ground in a war zone, that is the one I would wear because it offers up the side protection as well and it allows you to carry a lot more equipment. If I was to do training, door kicking, or I was in an urban environment or somewhere where I need to get in and out of vehicles a lot, um, it would be the recon for me just because of that narrower profile. Uh, it's a little bit lighter because of it hasn't got all that bulk around the sides uh, and it allows you to be a little bit more flexible, but this one offers up a lot more protection. Um, for me, I keep both. I love both rigs. I think for the price point of them as well, they're very, very cheap um, in comparison to some of the other stuff that's on the market, and yet the quality seems to be a lot better uh, from the ones that I've seen. You know, I've looked at some cry precision stuff, and considering their rigs are what, six, seven hundred quid, uh, you could buy both of these and outfit both of them to the teeth uh, for that money. And I just think, you know, Warrior of have really hit the market on the head when it comes down to really solid quality as well as a really great price point. So yeah, that is the overview of both of them. That's the differences between the two. Um, if you want my honest opinion, dependent on what you're going to use them for, I'd just buy both. Um, if they're that cheap, you know, they're at that sort of price where you could have both of them and not feel bad about you know using one over the other. Different opportunities are going to come by where you have. Uh, 72 hours out in a really you know rugged environment, out in the sticks, out in a forest or somewhere like that where the DCS is really going to come into its own with that extra storage space uh, and that extra um, protection around the sides. Um, over the recon where it's a narrower profile, there's a little bit less space but it's quicker and easier to get on. Um, they do really both have some pluses uh, alongside them. If you are interested in these or you want to find out a little bit more information, you can head over to either UK Tactical or Chase Tactical um, to check out some more information on these if not drop a question in the box below i will get back to all the questions that are asked as soon as possible thank you very much for watching and i will see you all soon